p.m. What you're about to hear is a fraud. Revenue services. The reason of this call is to inform you that the IRS is filing lawsuits against you. To get more information about this case file, please call immediately on our department number 229-548-5999. I repeat, 229-548-5999. Thank you. Wednesday, 1.18 p.m. End of final message. What they're trying to do is they're trying to get you to give you their social security number. It's a very wide fraud, so beware. Never. The IRS will send you a registered letter telling you that they are suing you. They do not make calls like that. Okay, with the camera still going, let's call. Two, two, nine, five, four, eight, five, nine, nine, nine. Oh, please. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes? Okay. Can you hear you? Well, speak louder. I got this call that I was being sued. Okay. And? And I want to know why. I mean, I don't have a lot of income. Okay. When you received the call from the IRS? Yes. When did you receive the call? Just from a minute the ago. IRS? Two minutes ago. Okay, so can you please help me with your first name and your last name? Uh, I mean, I don't want to. I, I have to get a lawyer or something. Listen, can you please confirm me your name, first name, and your last name? Okay, my first name is Randolph, R-A-N-D-O-L-F-E. And my last name is Wicker, W-I-C-K-E-R. Okay, calm down. Okay, give me... You get it? Yeah, I got it. Give me a moment, Randolph. Okay. Okay, Randolph, on which number you received the call from the IRS? 229-548-5999. Okay, I repeat, it's 229-548-5999. Yes. Correct? Okay. How come you don't know your own number? I called this number. Listen, I want your number, your number. On which number you received the call? 201-656-3200. Okay, is the same number you're calling from? Yes. Okay, Randolph. Uh, there is a lawsuit filed under your name regarding tax evasion. So may I, uh, by the IRS, okay? So to remove that correct accurate case file, I just need to confirm your date of birth and last four of your social security number. So can I have your date of birth? No, 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 I, th I, I, I think you're a fraud. Why you think that? 
Because this was the second time I got this call and I read in the AARP newsletter that you that it's a fraud. It's just a way to get people's names, addresses, phone numbers, and social security numbers. And I'm, I'm filming and taping this conversation to put it up on YouTube so people know what you're about. Listen, if you think this is a fraud or this is any scam, you can have my batch ID, okay? Okay, give me your batch, bank ID. Bank ID or badge IRM. ID? Yeah, it's IRM. IRM? 30698. 30698. Yeah, that's correct. So, so now can you please confirm me your date of birth? No, I, I, I want to call. I'm going to call back Internal Revenue Service on their listed number. And uh, run this by them before I give any more information. I've just been doing this because I know I know that it's a scam, it's a fraud. I'm gonna try to get you people locked up. If you ever call my home again, I'm gonna add, notify the whole world what kind of people are out there doing this. You probably get somebody with Alzheimer's who doesn't have any better sense as some poor person steal their ID, and then what do you do with it? Raid their bank account? You're a criminal. You should be locked up. I hear you're not even in the United States. You're probably you're probably sitting in India or somewhere, you know, making a commission on whatever you can. However many names and numbers you can come, you can uh, collect. Listen, Randolph, calm down, calm down. Okay, listen to me now. If you think this is a scam, you can go ahead and hang up the call. Okay, I'm not here to prove myself. Why not? You're calling here to ask my social security <laughs> number. You listen to me. No, you listen to me. You stop doing this or where I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna I'm calling the IRS. I'm personally gonna file suit against you for harassment and attempted fraud. I certainly will. I'm gonna tell the IRS about this. Cause the IRS owes me money. I don't owe the IRS money. I pay all my taxes. All the time, I overpay my taxes. I love my government. I don't mind paying my taxes. And people like you are outrageous, taking advantage of old and elderly and poor people. You should be locked up. You must be committing some crime. If not, we should make it a crime. I'm going to call my congressman. I'm going to call my senator. I'm starting war on you people. This has to stop. People like you have to be locked up. Hello? Yes? You listen to me first. I'll give you a number. Call back on that number, okay? Okay. You don't believe this is an IRS, okay? Okay. Okay, note down that number. Okay, I will. 800. 800. 8290. 8290. I repeat it. It's 800 8290. 8290. 40. 40. Okay, you can call back on the IRS number. This is an IRS number, okay? Go ahead. Well, I'll check it out. You better be okay, right, because I tell you, I, I told you, I recorded all this, and you know, you're going to be in trouble. I am from... Bye-bye. I told you I am from the IRS. Yes, what's your name? What's your name? Aha. Uh -huh. This criminal hung up. Well, we'll get him, won't we? Won't we? We'll get him.